see who comes out best just for a you know, good old hearty handshake and a pat on the back. Russell or Jerry or Joe holds the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Viennes, first time out on the track. Jordan Anderson, the only truck that has not been out of the 42. Forty-two trucks, thirty-two spots. As you look at the thirteen of Cody Coughlin now, and Cody's going to run a full season here for Thor Sport. Moved over and he said it was a great opportunity there in Ohio. He's from Ohio, lives in Ohio, so he's going to be closer to the shop and really looking forward to it. I was talking to Cody's dad earlier this morning and excited to be here. And I said the the Jets name goes way, way back to my youth when I uh, when I was growing up and going to Flat Rock, Michigan, and Toledo, Ohio to watch races. A guy named Don Gregory drove a Jets-sponsored car, a late-model car. And that was a long time ago, Vince. It's interesting that Thor Sport trying something different this year. They call pods or the, the 13 team and the 48 or the uh, 88 team working directly together. And then the 27 of Rhodes and the 98 of Infinger working directly together. Something similar to what we see at Hendrick Motorsports yeah, exactly at, the, right. at the cup level. And one thing we haven't uh, mentioned is the fact that Cody Coughlin's crew chief is Michael Schell. Yeah. Championship winning crew chief with James Busher a few years ago. Michael actually left the sport last year and opened up a business and uh, was coached back. And I was talking to him and he was happy to be back here and happy to be back with Thor Sport and uh, back in a garage area where he belongs and on top of the pit box. Yeah, glad to see Michael back in that truck series garage. On board with Austin Sendrick. What do you expect from Cinder this year? What's a good season for him in his first full season in the trucks? You know, I think it's 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 not really realistic. I don't think to expect Austin to win. Now, when he goes to uh, goes to Canada, he's certainly going to have a shot. He had a great top five finish going last year in Canada. Some contact on the last corner of the last lap took him out of a for sure top five. But uh, I think just learn. He's had so little so little stock car experience. I think just to get out there and learn and. He's got a great teammate, Chase Briscoe, and uh, you know Chase is a, a little bit more experienced as, as far as oval track racing goes, but not that much. And those guys just learn together, and and uh, you know by the time we and really I thought the same thing for William Byron last year. I said I, I really feel like William Byron is going to be a contender later on in the year. It's going to take him a while to get used to these trucks. I was wrong. He, he took to it like a, a duck takes the water, and he won in Kansas. You know just really early on. He was really good at Atlanta. He was in contention here until the last lap. So, uh, same thing could happen here to one of these young men, Austin Cindric or his teammate, Chase Briscoe. If you look at Cindric, and then right behind him is the 0-2 of Tyler Young. And the 51 of Myatt Snyder in there with Cody Coughlin bringing up the tail of the 13. We haven't talked a whole lot about Myatt Snyder this practice session. Myatt went to Toledo, Ohio in an ARCA racing series event last year. His first time ever in an ARCA car. Won that race, and Got his hands, uh, feet wet a little bit, ran a truck race at Phoenix last year, and he's going to jump in this KBM truck, and I think he's going to run about eight or nine races, something like that. They're actually going to share this truck. Harrison Burke, Jeff Burke's son, is going to run this truck some as well. Kyle, I think, is going to run five races. Todd Gillen. And, and Todd Gillen's going to also run some races. So they're really going to share this ride around, and so... Uh, well, Bono Mannion's going to have his hands full with different drivers, but uh, but he got to victory lane last year with Daniel Suarez and always puts a competitive product uh, on the racetrack. You know when he gets Kyle Busch for five races, they're going to they're going to be on kill. Well, and what a great luxury it is for Todd Gilliland and Harrison Burton and Myatt Snyder to have a guy like Bono Mannion as their crew chief as they're trying to you know, start their career here in the Camping World Truck Series. Hey, if you tuned in looking for. A NASCAR race day. Stay tuned because it's coming up next. We've had an extended practice here for the Camping World Truck Series because of weather earlier in today. Uh, so we'll go for about another 40 minutes here and we'll get you with NASCAR race day coming up at the top of the hour, 6 o'clock. And then, of course, the Can-Am Duel at Daytona tonight at 7 right here on FS1. Caught a glimpse of the 92 of Regan Smith. We talked about that earlier. Regan's going to run a handful of races for Ricky Benton and that Black tire Ford. Ricky's one of the good guys in the garage area. Love to see him with some uh, success here in the series. Regan Smith with experience at all three levels in the NASCAR garages. And what, he brings a pretty solid wheel 
to the truck series. Yeah. That combination, I like it. Oh, yeah, Harper Glickman yeah. finished third in this truck last year here at Daytona, so uh, it's certainly not out of the realm of possibility, especially with somebody like Regan Smith's abilities. That's Cedric in the 19, and Regan Smith we were just talking about in the 92. Tommy Joe Martin's in that 99, and there's another and a caution out on the course. The Got a, there we go. That's cars come to a stop, you saw. Looks like the one truck of Timothy oh. Bianca. Seem to be able to... Uh, couldn't tell there for a while whether it was started or they couldn't get it started, but there it goes. Back for more. Practice continuing for the Camping World Truck Series at Daytona.